it's hard for people to understand that we have a different idea of what learning is. I don't think that learning means sitting down in a classroom and learning math or reading or writing or, I don't know, literature or anything else. That, that's the misconception that ruins everything, that doesn't allow people to understand. If a little girl taught me how to paint a pretty stick figure, then I learned something. And it, no, I didn't learn calculus, but I learned how to draw nicer, you know? You know, every time you try to do something that you don't ser that you don't already know how to do and have done a million times, you learn things. Learning is not something that usually happens um, as, a, as a result of deliberately choosing educational activities, but learning happens as an accident as a result of you doing the things that you enjoy. One thing that I guess is uh, we, we tend to forget, I think, as adults, is that uh, the learning process is it's very complex you know um, you have you know some kids when they're three years old they already know how to read and then you have another kid who doesn't learn to read until they're 11 and that's the amazing thing about humanity is that we all do things in different ways basically I'd say they, le they learn things in every way you can imagine and a lot of ways you would never have thought of people learn in heaps of different ways you can't define today he's learned this and that and tomorrow he'll learn that. But bit by bit and it's a million pieces coming together every, every day you learn a bit and in the end it's growing and growing and growing. That's the kind of environment that people learn the most in. One of the things that we I think people in democratic schools are really fighting is we fight against the adults experience you know, all of the adults who have gone to traditional schools who, you know, when they were in the first grade, they learned how to read. And that's when reading took place, or the learning of reading took place. And when they got to the third grade, they learned, you know, they started learning about uh, fractions and decimals. And in the third grade, that's when you learn how, you, you learn about fractions and decimals. And when you get to high school, that's the time when you learn about uh, literature from different parts of the world. That is the experience that we are fighting against. That's the understanding of education that we fight against. That certain things happen at certain times. And when they don't happen, then something's wrong. You, you learn from living. You learn, and we feel you learn much more this way. You learn relevant things from relevant activities. So I would answer that I learn a lot when I'm there in a place like that. They're learning a lot, but they're learning it, you know, from the broad con spectrum of things that is possible to learn in life. You know, if you, are they learning a lot in that little sliver of, of information that they teach in public school? Some of them are and some of them aren't. But, um, but in, in terms of the broad spectrum of all the things you need to know to be successful in life and to be a functional human being, they're learning all the time, every minute. Okay, there are maybe there are some subjects that can be effectively taught some of the time. Some of subjects even can be effectively taught most of the time with a lot of work very slowly. But if you want people to actually learn, learn something, they have to want to learn it and they have to be trying. And I think we waste a lot of time and, with our children, and we waste a lot of time in a lot of schools trying to teach people things they don't want to learn. If you're really interested in something, you'll learn it a lot better than if a teacher is telling you to do maths or whatever. Yeah, because I, I think if I did sit in a maths class all year, I, I think I would take it in um, to do the test, get past the test, and forget about it. <laughs> I think that's what most people do. They only do it for the test. <laughs> you know, academics are just one part of education. For, every, for many people, you know, academics are here and everything else is down here. Academics are the only reason why kids are in school. Uh, but, you know, people in democratic schools, I think they take a different approach. They say, well, yeah, academics are important. It's not to say that they're not important, but academics are one part of education, and they're not—they're not up here, and everything else being down here. I mean, they're 
you have to figure out the way to integrate academics into what you're doing. I think you have the discussion with the parents about what it is that they will be getting when perhaps they're not getting that academic learning that you're so concerned about, you know? They're having intense conversation all day long. They're learning how to formulate their ideas. They're learning how to formulate their arguments. They're learning how to be responsible. I mean, we can't claim that every kid leaves the school with all of this, but, but there is a lot that goes into being able to support them so much throughout their lives and the decisions that they will make. So if your self-esteem is, if you're, you know, you've been able to work on your self-esteem or issues of be, how to be a social being in the world and interact with people, then I think you can, um, certainly those are skills that you're going to use throughout your life and will really help you to achieve anything it is that you want to do.